Oh, God. They want me to work on Ron right after I worked on Shiga. That means I have to find more Kim Possible clips. That was already hard enough to find. Oh, God. All right, here goes nothing. What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and this is Disney Heroes. Hi, I'm Ron Stop. Ow! So today, we are going to be bringing the highly, highly requested Ron Stoppable overview to you guys. Ron has really taken over the game ever since he joined a few months back. I think he came shortly after Shigo, so this actually takes the, the cake as actually being my newest hero that I ever did a hero overview on. But yeah, Ron is ridiculously powerful. I honestly think he is the best damage hero in the game overall. I know um, everyone's been talking about Shigo lately, but I think Ron one has the power to stick around in the meta for quite a while due to the reflect. I think he's going to be very similar to Darkwing Duck, where he's just kind of going to be lingering in the meta forever and ever and ever and ever. Oh, don't worry, baby. I'm not going to forget about the little people who got me where I am today. And honestly, in my prediction, I think that both Shigo and Wasabi are going to eventually fall out of the meta. Once there's a few counters out there for true damage and shatter and stuff like that, I think Shigo and Wasabi are going to fall really hard, but with Reflect, Reflect is extremely difficult to counter. Alright, so if you guys enjoy these hero overviews, definitely give me a like, subscribe, comment. I would hugely, hugely appreciate it. This is my first hero overview since hitting 1000, so uh, thank you guys again. I know I've said it like 20 bazillion times, but I really can't believe I have a 1000 subscribed channel, so it's kind of crazy to me. So I'm just going to keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you, over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as usual, we are going to be going through what his skills do, what mods you should give him, his friend discs, battle badge, what teammates go good with him, what who he's good against, and of course, how to counter him. Let's get right on into it. Remote control lasers, I'll handle this. I got nothing. As usual, we're gonna start with his skills. First one here we have his white skill, Mystical Monkey Powers. Right off the bat, this is going to be one of the things that he's the best with. Ron channels his mystical monkey powers and strikes the closest enemy with both hands. Ron deals about 40 million damage to enemies and applies Reflect to himself that lasts 10 seconds. And we all know what Reflect does, it prevents 100% of damage and reflects it back at them. White skill is insane. It's definitely one of the top white skills in Disney Heroes right now. Uh, 40 million damage is insane, and just keep in mind that this is an orange number. You'll notice that on a few of his skills. Orange numbers mean that it is powered up by his basic damage, so if we look at his stats fast, we'll see that he has a pretty high basic damage stat. About 3.5 million, that is definitely one of the higher amounts, especially compared to other damage roll heroes and stuff like that. His basic damage is really, really one of the highest in the game, and it's really just gonna help boost the power of this white skill. His green skill, Nako Chuck. What are you eating? Taco meets nacho. I call it the Nako. Ron pulls out a Nako platter and throws it at the farthest enemy, splattering hot cheese on the enemy and others near them. Enemies hit take about 35 million damage and have their attack and movement speed reduced by 75% for 14 seconds. As I already said on the green skill video, uh, this is absolutely one of the best green skills in the game as well. 35 million damage is a lot and also reducing movement speed by 75% is just ridiculous, especially for 14 seconds. This can really shut down a lot of enemies, and this is part of the reason between both the Reflect and this movement speed slow is just why he's able to just single-handedly take out entire teams. Um, even if he's just like the last one standing, this white and green skill in combination with each other can really just completely destroy everybody. Even if he's the last one standing, do not underestimate him. He can really just completely run through teams. His blue skill, Rufus Rumble. What is that? That freaking thing! Can I get a booyah? Rufus runs onto Ron's hand and Ron throws him at the farthest enemy. Ron scuffles with the enemy, dealing about 46 million damage to them and stunning them for 16 seconds. Now, for anyone not paying attention, 
Ron, on his first three skills, has Reflect, Stun, and Slow. These are three things that can seriously just shut down any enemy, and he has it on just his first three skills. It's insane how many things that he has on his kit. And again, just keep in mind this has orange numbers, so this means that it is boosted by his basic damage stat. And also, this one is the only skill of his that deals normal damage. All the other ones deal fantastic damage. His purple skill, Booyah! 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 After Ron Booyah! uses Knock of Chuck, he gains 100% attack speed and about 2 million basic damage for 14 seconds. Ron is also energized during this time. While energized from this skill, Ron gains 85 extra energy each time he performs the basic attack. So this is going to make both his white and his blue skill deal a lot more damage due to the basic damage boost. And also, he's just going to be going a lot faster. So basically, while Nako Chuck slows the enemies, he is also going way faster. And there's just so many things that come together on just these four skills that just melt everybody on the enemy team and really shut them down so they can't do anything to you. All four of them are some of the best in the game, just on one hero. Booyah! His red skill, Essential Rondness. Ron's basic attacks deal bonus 4 million damage to enemies below 50% of their max HP, and keep in mind this is also in orange numbers, so it's boosted by basic attack. Ron also stuns enemies for 3 seconds when he damages them with the reflect from myth mystical monkey powers. Ron can only stun enemies this way once every 4 seconds, and he has a chance to fail. Um, he also gains skill power, max HP, and more damage to mystical monkey powers. This uh, red skill is pretty good, it's definitely kind of just gives a slight boost even more to what he's already doing on the field, so it's not really anything new. The extra damage to enemies that are below 50% of their max HP is cool. Um, I mean, he's already just completely melting everybody on the on the field, so it's might not be all that crazy. So red skill is good, but I think all it really does is just give a slight boost to all of his other skills. So nothing too crazy going on there. So those are his skills. His white, green, blue, and purple are seriously some of the best in the entire game. It's ridiculous that he has that much power in his kit. And that's really why I think that Ron is going to be sticking around for quite a while. Even if they give a huge nerf to one of these skills, he still has three others that are just ridiculous. So that's why Ron is insanely powerful right now, and why I think he is the best damage hero in the game. Alright, so let's move on to the friend discs. Both friend discs are pretty good on him. I think you could really kind of use whichever one. I think more people generally use uh, the launch pad disc though. So we're going to talk about that one first. His launchpad disc, he gains skill power, and he uh, heals for a lot of HP after using Nako Chuck. So there's a lot of Nako Chuck stuff going on here. And then on the star side of the launchpad disc, attack and movement speed slow amount is increased by, I have it at 20%, I think it maxes out at 50 or 60% or something like that. I want to say. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen. This one is just going to increase the power of his green skill even more. Not a whole lot to say there. This is a very powerful uh, friend disc. I think this is the one that more people generally use just to get more slow out there and really just shut down the enemy even more. The Kim Possible disc over here, the level side, he gains uh, max HP and basic damage. I mean, basic damage boosting is always good, especially on Ron, considering he actually uses basic damage quite a bit, and his basic damage is quite high. Um, and then on the star side, Ron deals 20% more damage to stunned enemies. I think this maxes out at 100%, so I think he's just going to wind up healing double the damage to all stunned enemies. Now this could be really really good, one, because he does have quite a bit of stun himself, but you could also pair him with stun teammates um, and really just make a really powerful stun team with Ron as well. I feel like a lot of people talk about the reflect on Ron a lot more, but you could really make a good stun team with him as well. So I think less people generally use the Kim disc, but both of them are very very good. You can't go wrong with either of these friend discs. Right. Ron! You've got to stop. Evil isn't your thing, it's Draken's thing. Ah, but I'm so much better at it! Did Draken ever build a plasma blaster this dangerous? So now let's check out his battle badge really quick. I don't like to get too much into the battle badges. Uh, they're kind of a not worthwhile talking about. I just like to go through them super fast. Ron's battle badge is uh, pretty good when Reflect is applied to three heroes. So this will actually come off pretty quickly, especially if you pair Ron with uh, other Reflectors like Ian, Darkwing Duck, or Ham. Just 
as the main big examples of the reflectors in Disney Heroes. He's going to gain basic damage plus more basic damage per damage roll hero on his team. And then when you enhance the battle badge, he's going to gain 40 armor negation. This will be really, really good for the Rufus Rumble move, his blue skill, because that's just going to increase the amount of damage that that does. But otherwise, he does all fantastic damage with his other two skills here. Um, I don't know how useful armor negation is on him overall. He does have a, a very strong base damage though, so it could definitely come in handy. So it's kind of just like on the fence whether you should enhance this one or not. My gut says that yes, you should. Uh, let's look at his stats real fast here. So if we look at his normal crit, he actually has very high normal crit. Basically by default, I mean, I'm at Y7, so keep that in mind. At max rank for my server, he is able to normal crit with every single one of his attacks. So that's pretty cool. It does have also very high normal uh, armor negation, so that means he's almost dealing 100% more damage with both his basic attacks as well as Rufus Rumble. And he also has really high evasion, so he's able to dodge a lot of moves too. Ron is just stacked. He really, really is. Uh, the only thing he lacks is any fantastic crit. He does not have a fantastic crit stat. All right, so last is we have mods. So Ron's mods, um, you got quite a few options, actually. I think this is uh, a hero that has the most options of anything in the game. You could honestly go with literally anything on Ron. The only thing I would recommend avoiding completely is fantastic crit, because like I just said, he does not have a fantastic crit stat, so fantastic crit would be pretty useless on him. Other than that, you could really go with anything for Ron mods on him. You could give him any skill mod because none of them are level based. I just went with the blue skill personally just because I wanted him to deal more damage with that, but you could really go with whichever one you want. All of them are going to be great, super helpful. Like I just said, his normal crit is very high, so you could have normal crit mod. You could do armor or reality because he does have pretty high armor and reality as well. So if you want to boost that some more, you totally could. Speed boost, always good on any hero. And lastly, we have shield, which might not be the best option for him because I don't think shield is all that great overall as a mod, but you could do it if you really want to. So Ron, unlike most heroes, is a hero that you could really give any mod to. The only one I definitely recommend avoiding is fantastic crit. So pretty easy when it comes to Ron to do mods. I would definitely say a couple skill mods would be pretty helpful, um, and maybe like normal crit and speed or something like that. Probably the best choices for him, but I don't know. So we've talked about Ron's skills, his friend disc, his battle badge, and of course his mods. Let's talk about who pairs well with his teammates. Hold my naked mole rat boys, I'm going in. Ron can really go with a lot of heroes as teammates. There's not a whole lot that you can pair with him that he would not work well with. He kind of can just wreck teams on his own without too much assistance. Ian is probably the best teammate that you can have with Ron, period, because of his Goliath disc. Whenever an, en an ally receives Reflect, Ian also receives Reflect that last five seconds. So basically, any time that Ron uses white skill, Ian is going to get a Reflect as well. And then say you have Kermit on this team as well, Reflect can get passed along to everybody throughout the fight. And you could also do Darkwing Duck and Ham for very similar reasons. They all have some really great Reflect and they would really just pair well with Ron just to have a really strong Reflect synergy going on there. But yeah, Ian is probably the number one teammate for Ron as well as Kermit, like I said, because he's going to be able to, to spread all of Ron's Reflects around as well as the speed boost that he gets from his white skill as well. Kermit can spread that around. You have no idea how scary I can be. <laughs> but another great thing that's going to go with Ron as teammates is going to be stunners, of course. Uh, there's quite a few stun heroes out there. Some of the best ones are going to be Pocahontas, Darkling Duck, Simone and Pumbaa. You got Zeus, who just joined the game. He has a lot. Evil Queen is pretty much the queen of stun. I know I have a lot of green badge things. I just opened a bunch of badge booster crates. And it's bugging the shit out of me that I can't equip them right now because I'm doing a video. <laughs> But yeah, so stunners are going to go great with Ron just because he has a lot of stun himself. And especially if you use Ron's Kim disc, stun is going to go great as a way to increase the amount of damage that Ron can do. Something else that is going to go great is going to be Phil. Phil is the brand new support hero. No one really has him yet as of recording this video. Um, I'm pretty sure once this is uploaded, he'll be out in the game. But I think Phil is going to be a really insane combo with Ron because... Phil is going to let Ron use his green and blue skill a lot more due to the white skill. 
Every time that Phil uses his white skill, Ron is going to be able to use his green and blue skill pretty much right away at that point. And he also makes him invincible too. I didn't even notice that on the skill. There's so much reading with the Phil skill kit. Ron is also going to be cleansed when he is linked with Phil as well every time Phil uses his white skill. So... Phil is going to be insane, I think. Another thing to note with Phil is with the Mike Wazowski friend disc, he's going to increase Ron's uh, basic damage and skill power by, I believe this goes up to 100% at max. I'm not 100% sure on that. It might be 80 or something like that. Phil and Ron are going to be insane together, and you could really just tack on Magara to this to give ridiculous amounts of protection as well as basic damage and just support in general. Keeping with the theme of basic damage, basic damage boosting is going to be insanely strong when paired with Ron as well. And that is the last thing that I wanted to talk about here in the teammates section. So we got quite a few here, but some of the best heroes that give teammates basic damage are going to of course be Jim, his white skill and just his abilities in general and energize and all that um, increases the amount of damage that Ron's going to be able to do. Same with Meg. Uh, Maximus also gives his teammates quite a bit of basic damage. Kronk does as well. So does Animal, Li Shang, Fairy Godmother and Mim as well with her Oogie Boogie Disc. Those are like the main ones that I could find. There's probably plenty, plenty more. There's a lot of heroes that boost basic damage, most of which are just for themselves. But there's a lot of heroes that boost basic damage. Um, I'm sure there's a few more that I didn't mention here, but those are like the main ones that I could find that give basic damage to their teammates. And they're gonna just allow Ron to deal way more damage with both his white, red, and his blue skill. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I had for the teammate section. Ron really goes with quite a lot of heroes. There's just plenty of teammates that you could have with him to really help boost him up. If you just slap on some supports with him, he'll he'll just run rampant through teams. All right, so who is Ron good against? Probably the shortest section I have here. Anybody that has low armor reality is going to be just completely destroyed by Ron, pretty much. Uh, and then also, high damage heroes such as Shigo, Wasabi, Dash, Bolt, etc, etc, are pretty much just going to kill themselves against all of Ron's reflect that he has. You were all like, oh, you were like, uh, pow, pow, and I was like, zap, zap, and now you're all like, you're like, woo -hoo. Reflect is always a great counter to those kinds of heroes. Um, and that's pretty much all I had. Uh, he's also really good against the backline uh, due to the Rufus Rumble. So if you have some backline support that you're struggling with, you could definitely use Ron and he'll definitely help take them out. So he could be good against, say, Magara, Timon, Kermit if he doesn't have the invisibility off. He'd probably be good against Phil as well. Any hero that stands in the back... Uh, Ron's gonna really help against due to the Rufus Rumble. There's really not a lot of heroes that have backline att attacking skills, so that's something in particular that Ron is gonna be good against that not a lot of heroes have. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for the good against section. Let's move on to the counters. How do you counter Ron? Countering Ron is a pretty tall order. There's a lot going on with this kit, but the main thing that you want to do against him is just make it so that he can't use his skills as much. You could do this in a multiple ways, either through silencing or blinding or stunning. You could just throw fatigue on him to prevent him from getting reflect onto himself and also speed reduction. That's really the main thing that you want to do against Ron is try to shut him down so that he's not able to use his skills as much because that's really what's going to give you an opening in order to take out Ron. So how do we do that? One, I say this every single video, but you have silence, such as with Angel, Disgust, Sadness, Tia has a lot, Mushu with a lot of silence, as is Carl. Those are like the main silencers in the game. There's a few others, obviously, but those are like the main, main ones that I think are the best. Oh, and Dr. Draken also. I always forget Dr. Draken. Dr. Draken has ordered the capture of Ron Stoppable. He remembered my name. Stop! Right, okay. But yeah, so those are the main silencers. Uh, silence is always great just because it's going to prevent Ron from being able to use his skills. Blind is also going to help. Uh, I don't want to talk about Blind too much because I don't think it's that great of a counter, but it's going to prevent him from using his basic attacks. And as we've already discussed, his basic damage is very, very high. So being able to prevent him from being able to use that damage, helpful. Not the best counter though overall. As I mentioned already a little bit, we have Fatigue. Fatigue works exactly the same way as Hardy, but on the opposite side of things. So it's going to be able to prevent the enemy from getting a buff onto themselves. And then it goes away similar to Hardy. So basically the main use for this is going to be able to prevent Ron from being able to get Reflex onto himself which is really going to prevent a lot of his damage from going off on your team. The main fatiguers in the game are Sadness, Carl, Quackerjack, Swedish Chef, and uh, Madame Mim a little bit. 
and Calhoun a little bit with the Red Seal. Carl is a very, very good counter. Having both Silence and Fatigue is a great counter for Ron in general. Um, he's really going to help shut down Ron and just slow him down and not be able to get as much of his abilities off. Something else that's really going to help is, of course, Kermit. Kermit won because he's going to give invincibility to his team, so it makes it so Ron can't deal any damage to his team. But also, low-key, his green skill is a great counter. It's one, going to reduce the amount of damage that Nako Chuck does, and also it's going to reduce his basic damage by quite a lot. So this is going to just reduce the amount of damage that he can use, he can get off with one, his basic attacks, but also his white and his blue skill, like I've already mentioned a couple times in this video. So Kermit is really going to help against Ron, I think. Um, probably one of the best counters out there. Something else to keep in mind is going to be Hardy. Hardy is going to prevent your team from being stunned from Ron, as well as being slowed from the Knuckle Chuck skill. I pretty much say Hardy every single time, so, but some of the best Hardiers are, of course, Kermit, Tron, you got Rapunzel, Maximus, Esmeralda, Linguini, and Fairy Godmother, and then uh, Li Shang, and a few others. Oh, and Belle, of course. Those are like the main, main ones. Oh, and Fear, I'm pretty sure has quite a, uh, quite a bit of Hardy. They are going to be great for just preventing your team from being able to get uh, slowed, as well as stunned. And then, of course, like I say in every single video, Tron, going Going to clear the reflect from Ron, as well as the speed boost from Ron that he gives from his red skill, as well as the basic damage boost that he gives himself, and any other thing that he gets from the rest of his team. So obviously Tron counters everything. I feel like I have to mention him every video. I can't recommend Tron enough. I really, really can't. Fairy Godmother is also going to be a great counter against Ron, mainly because of her Madame Mim disc. With the Madame Mim disc, uh, Fairy Godmother and her allies take. Uh, less damage from damage dealt by Reflect. I'm not sure what this maxes out at. I'm gonna pop it on screen once I figure it out in the edit. This is just gonna help make it so that your team doesn't take as much damage from Ron, as well as if uh, Ron is paired with, say, uh, Ian or Darkwing Duck or something like that as well. Fairy Godmother also has Cleanse, which is also helpful. So that's just gonna clear out the stuns and the slows that um, Ron inflicts on your team. And also Fairy Godmother applies a lot of Hardy to her team. So there's a couple reasons that Fairy Godmother is a pretty good counter for Ron. On. Mainly the Madame Mim disc, just reducing the amount of damage that you take from Reflect, which could really, really help in the long run. Randall is also a huge counter to Ron that you might not actually expect if you don't really know uh, what this Isma disc does, because this Isma disc it actually removes all active buffs from enemies with every single one of his base attacks, especially once this reaches max stars, it has a hundred percent chance. So every single basic attack is just going to remove both the reflect as well as the speed boost that Ron has on himself. So this is huge, my guy. Heroes that reduce basic damage. I mentioned Kermit a little bit, but you also have, say, like Angel, Madame Mim. You have Magicka, who reduces a lot of basic damage. Quackerjack. Quackerjack also has Fatigue. So Quackerjack is another great counter for having two different things that will counter Ron quite a bit. But yeah, so basic damage reduction is just going to reduce the amount of damage, of course, that Ron is able to do with his basic attacks and his white and blue skill. Like I said, like five times already, I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over. Zeus is also going to be a great counter for Ron due to all of the energy steal that he has from his green as well as his white, and also his red skill. So this energy steal is going to really prevent Ron from being able to get his white skill off, which in turn prevents him from being able to get his reflect off, which is pretty huge going against a Ron stoppable. So primarily for that reason, Zeus is definitely a really good way to help slow down Ron from being able to use his skills a little bit. Um, and then the last counter that I have is actually going to be Phil again. Phil applies fatigue to the enemy as well, and also reduces attack and movement speed by 75%. Another great reason is going to be um, that he distracts so that Ron is going to direct all of his damage to him instead of anybody else on the team. Phil also gives invincibility to his teammate and is going to uh, give whatever teammate he is paired with um, green and blue skill cooldown reductions. And also the last thing that Phil has is cleanse. He's able to cleanse the one that he's linked with every time he uses his white skill. So this will get rid of the stuns that he gives and the movement speed reductions and anything like that. So it'll uh, definitely help against Ron quite a bit, I think. So that is pretty much all I have for Ron. I hope this helps you guys out a little bit for what to do against Ron Stockwell. He is a very tough hero to counter, a very universally good damage hero that pairs with a lot of stuff. I'll be honest, 
before I started do, uh, putting this video together, I was kind of lost myself on what to do with Ron. It really just comes down to shutting him down so that he's not able to use his skills nearly as much. Um, and then that's just really going to give you an opening in order to take him out before he's able to kill you. Um, who should I do next on the Hero Overview series? Um, I know I'm always just constantly getting tons and tons of requests. Um, I'm trying to concentrate on the heroes that are really, really, really powerful and tough to counter and stuff like that. So Ron and like Shigo in the last video are really some of the best examples of that. And then on top of that, I'm also trying to do like um, heroes that I just think are worthwhile to talk about for various other reasons as they're just interesting or they have good pairings or anything like that really. So that was like the, the Jim and the Tron and the Kermit and stuff example with that. I don't know who I should do next, so let me know down in the comments. Other than that, I'm gonna get out of here. So that is gonna be it. Um, peace. Don't worry, KP. We are out of here. I'm doomed. Three, four, five, four, four, four. How did Google go down? What?